Thursday morning, guys. So, today is the day I'm getting my button replaced. Well, replace. I'm getting my tube changed to a button. I think it's a Mikey button or a Mickey button. Um, I know people say it different ways. <clears throat> I have a throat longer. My throat is very sore today. Um, outfit. Do you want to know what it is? You're not like... I don't even know why I'm bothering because, like, you know, I'm <laughs> going into hospital. But a stripy, like, three-quarter length, kind of long sleeve shirt. Um, this little cardi black belt with these massively ripped jeans and my boots. Which I have not worn my boots in such a long time. Like, I just haven't. But, yeah. Anyway, yeah. Tom actually took the day off today. I mean, he's technically still working. He's working from home, but... Um, he's taking the day off so he can take me to my appointment or my admission, whatever you want to call it, day surgery. Um, I'm nervous, like I always am, but I'm also excited because this button has been giving me so much grief. It's literally been causing me so, so much pain, so I'll be so glad, and not this button, this dangler, so I'm literally so, so glad to get rid of it. Good morning, I hope everybody's well. Today's vlog is definitely going to be like a long vlog and then I'm just going to edit all the footage from the rest of the week into one vlog and this will be a separate vlog. Um, so hopefully we will get enough footage today for this to be um, one vlog. So hopefully. And I've got Friday's video sorted out. It's a haul video. Um, I was originally going to do like an outfit video, but then I ended up just doing like a try on. And I want to do a Black Friday, like what I got on Black Friday, but the thing is, everybody's already uploaded those sorts of videos, and I feel like if I upload mine now, well, the thing is with Australia, like it's mostly online, like there's not, there is, there, obviously there is in store Black Friday deals, but. A lot of the stuff that I purchased on Black Friday was online and it's going to take so long to get here. So by the time everything gets here, it's kind of pointless doing a block what I got in Black Friday video. So I'm probably not going to do that now, but I will show you guys what I got as it comes. But anyway, I need to flush my line and put in my lock and stuff. Um, and then, yeah, we're going to leave in a little bit. What's time? I'm going to leave in about... I don't know, like 20 minutes, I would say, so. Apparently, they have the tube this time, so let's hope <laughs> that it actually happens. And for those of you that are new to my channel, um, a few weeks ago, I went to go get my tube changed to, a, like, a button, like a smaller tube, um, and they lost it. Um, and then I was waiting there all, like, 10 hours, and then they lost it. And I was the last patient as well, so... I had to wait so long and then we I literally got in the operating room they were literally about to put me under and then they walked in and said oh we've lost the tube we can't find it so I was like oh, are you kidding me like that's how far I was like could you imagine I, I said to Tom I was like could you imagine if they'd actually put me under and I'd woken up I would have been more pissed off then that I'd been put to sleep woken up and it wasn't done um anyway so fingers crossed we get there and they have the tube and as soon as I get put taken through to the like the waiting area I'm gonna be like right do you have the tube check like check now because I'm not waiting around for hours for you to tell me that you don't have it so gotta make sure that they have it this time <laughs> can you not think of anything where is the space for space there isn't, that doesn't make Things that make you go, hmm. Guys, Tom wants to start a thing in my vlogs where every day he goes, things that make you go, hmm. And he does like a question that, you know, like things that make you go, hmm. So what's your question for today, sorry? Where is the space for space? Where is the space for space, okay. I'm being something. It's just infinity. But everything else has a space. The world is a certain size, a certain amount of space in it. I don't know. That's a silly thing, I don't know. Mm. Turn everyone mental. <laughs> There's gonna have a mental breakdown out of this. Yeah. <laughs> Things make you go, hmm. We are here. Okay. Also guys, if you guys wanna shop my Ray-Bans, I will leave a link down below to Vision Direct. Go check them out. Okay. 
I don't know why I'm always getting so nervous like walking up to like the main bit. So I was like coming yeah. in at 11 and I missed the whole day. <laughs> I can tell you at this stage, mm -hmm. you are near the top. Good. At this stage. Okay. I'm going to get you ready. I'm going to pop you in a bed so that when we're ready to go, you're ready to go. Okay? Mm -hmm. Now my hands are not very warm. That's all right. Come on your ankle. Plan for the weekend? Um, I don't know. I kind of feel like I want to go to the beach. I mean, I can't swim because of my pedge and my hickman, but it'd be nice to just get down the beach and paddle yeah, your feet. Paddle, though, yeah, paddle in the you water. Your and, yeah, just sunbathe. Yeah, be nice. sounding extremely rough okay i don't remember the last thing i vlogged at all but it is the next day um i don't know what they gave me yesterday but it knocked me out i went in at about one o'clock i didn't wake up till 6 p.m that is how long it took me to come around and even then i wasn't like around round like i was like could barely keep my eyes open i'll post up the picture and you can tell in that picture how much I'm struggling to keep my eyes open. That is the only picture I got, that Tom got, should I say, of when I came out. <clears throat> yeah, then basically slept the whole way home, got home, and I slept all the way through till today. And it's now 9 o'clock. So from 1pm, so let me work that out, 1, 2, 3, 21 hours, or 20 hours. I slept for continuously that's yeah I've no idea what they gave, they gave me normally I'm awake in recovery and then I get taken back to like the ward this time I woke up in the ward and Tom was next to me and I was so confused and yeah basically that's what happened so that's why there's no been been no footage because Tom could didn't know where my vlog camera was it was in my handbag and um yeah i was in no fit state to vlog put it that way my throat is so so sore there was an american anesthesiologist and he was obviously really really rough because you guys know how many procedures i've had and it's never been like this afterwards like i could barely swallow yesterday luckily i pretty much slept through all of it so i've got some juice here which i'm sipping on but even swallowing this is so painful so you're gonna have to just deal with croaking Amy. Um, I will show you the button because yeah, I haven't really had a chance to see it yet. So this is our little friend. Um, yeah, it's very low profile. And let me just show you. So if I pop off this end, this end here is the um, the stomach end. If I pulled it again, this is the jejunum. Now, apparently it's a one-way valve, so it shouldn't leak out if I've got the um, the cap off. So I'm just gonna pop that cap back on. Um, I haven't had the, I have been sick, but I haven't yet drained out of my tube. So I've got in here some supplies that they've given me. So these are the, ex some of the extensions, um, not, entirely sure I think it's the same one for feeding and draining oh no this one's got no okay I'm not really sure we'll have to have a play around with that let me have a look at the discharge summary and let's have a look to see if there's anything written on there if it was like difficult procedure or anything because sometimes they write if it was um difficult I thought they did 
they've written here also note silver nitrate to peg site for granulation tissue because I did think afterwards that it looked very gross and they hadn't put any dressing or anything on which I thought was weird because whenever my stoma nurse um not stoma nurse peg nurse or I don't know stoma nurse yeah whenever she burns my granulation tissue she always puts up like on like iodine and like a little dressing they didn't do that so when I came to it it was all gross and I had to put on my own dressing so anyway oh okay I'll tell you where my throat sore it says previous peg on its previous judge limb disconnected and removed from peg previous peg removed per oral so they've taken out my peg tube through my throat so I'm guarantee you if we have a look it's probably gonna be all gross down there do you see it? it's kind of bloody actually and then there's like a little bit on the side that's quite red and like it's like a cut almost but I can't well it's not focusing on me and it's gonna be a bit hard to show you so okay continuing on I don't like the sound of that <laughs> it says advanced into jejunum using rat tooth forcep okay initially unable to ma maintain position final attempt well placed jejunal limb slight gastric loop that doesn't give me much um confidence that it's going to stay where it's meant to stay and there's eight mils in the balloon i'm actually thinking what's the day today i think i've got an appointment today oh i do what time is it half two. Oh no i wanted to sleep and not be disturbed so I'm sat here watching YouTube, which to be honest, I feel like I don't do enough of like Considering I'm a youtuber. I don't really Watch a lot of YouTube. I don't know um, I'm trying to find youtubers that I like to watch, but I haven't really found many to be honest um, I mean I watch like chronic illness youtubers, but I feel like sometimes they can be a bit full-on um, when, when your life is like chronic illness then you're watching their life and that's like more chronic illness and it's like I just want to break from it whether they make their lives re revolve around that or not like it's still sometimes a bit full on don't get me wrong like, I love their channels and whatnot but anyway I've started to feel a bit nauseous so I figured I'm gonna see how this clips on and how this works otherwise I'm gonna end up having to be sick again and I don't really fancy that so um I'm assuming this big, big chunky one it would be for draining. And the end one is the gastric one. And then you twist it. Ah, we've already got juices coming out. Clamp. Clamp it quick. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Problem solved. Okay, let's go see if we can drain. Well. We know we can, we've already had juices coming out, so... Oh, I'm really not feeling today. Hello, everybody. So it's been a while. Well, it's actually not. It's only been a couple hours. I rang up and I cancelled my appointment that I had at the hospital because I was like, I'm in no state to drive. For, Dad and Francis have have gone out, obviously, so they couldn't take me. So that means Tom would have to leave work to come take me. And I was like, ugh, no that's not happening <clears throat> I'm still not feeling good so I just thought I'm just gonna cancel the appointment and you know relax plus I have a TPN delivery <clears throat> so yeah I'm not really can't really leave because otherwise he'll end up leaving my stuff at the, outside the front of the house and those of you who don't know TPN can't be left outside the, in the heat has to be refrigerated and even though there's ice packs in the boxes it's not gonna last very long out in Australian heat my tummy is not good today I've had to drain so much already so I've just left my tube attached so I don't like the fact that it's see-through like can we just talk about that for a second somebody's left the television on how rude look how big the new television is it is humongous 75 inches Okay, <clears throat> yeah, I'm not a big fan of how it's see-through so you can see all your disgusting stomach contents, like, no. <clears throat> wow, 
Why are all the lights on? What is wrong with people? Ugh, I'm so like, ugh, today. I'm dizzy, my head hurts. Like, general anesthetic's the worst. Good morning, guys. So obviously, you can tell I'm feeling a little bit better today. I've managed to do my makeup. Um, I'm still like, a bit like lightheaded and um, like a bit dizzy, um, and just generally feeling like a bit like like rubbish. But I'm so much better than I was yesterday, so that's something. I'm able to move around a lot more, at least. Um, me bulbs. Um, so today. I'm gonna end the vlog and then I'll get into what we're gonna do today in, in today's actual vlog. Um, but I'm gonna end the vlog here because today is the first day of Vlogmas and I'm gonna attempt it. Last year we completed it su successfully. I vlogged every day. Um, I think I vlogged most days last year. There wasn't many days that I didn't vlog. Um, I've vlogged a lot less this year. However, my views have gone up so I was still earning roughly what I was earning. If that makes sense? I don't know. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to end the vlog here, guys. If you enjoyed it, a bit rubbish, I know. Please do give it a big thumbs up anyway and hit that subscribe button. Um, I didn't realise how how close we were to, not, well, I want to say how close we were to 50,000 subscribers on this channel because we're at 40 something thousand, which is insane. So thank you so much. Um, but yeah, I love you guys and like, subscribe, all that jazz. And I will see you in today's vlog. <laughs>